Uh, I swear to God, using 3M tape to seal headlights is the definition of the next guy's problem. To whoever did this, I hope your french fries are cold for the rest of your life. Okay, let's show you my final racing LED setup and restoring the tail lights. You can see that the left hand light has leaked quite bad. That center garnish, the original ones that had Sephiro written on them are actually quite expensive and hard to find. This is just someone who's got a little plastic plate and stuck it on there. It looks horrible and you can see it cracked already. And you can see in the bottom on the corners, the light gets in from the top next to where the boot uh, matches the body. And then the water runs down and takes all the paper and, and reflective material off the lights and sits in the bottom giving them that horrible look. So we're gonna have to bake them and split them and then also get a new center garnish. We're gonna to have to sand everything and then give it a coat of clear. So let's get stuck in, guys. First thing, it's been pissing down here in Thailand. We had massive storms, so let's see how much water is getting into the boot. Up you go, and put this one in. Now, the water is actually coming into the inside of the light, which is obviously not good. And we're fixing all this wiring, so ignore that for the time being. Uh, so we've also got to figure out where the water is coming into the boot from. Cool. I'm going to take a stab and say that it's just leaking straight in from there. So from the outside, coming in there and straight in here cool so i reckon i've got that one sorted that should be easy i hate throwing away these really good plastic cups so i use them as bolt holders so let's get all this out now i always give it a quick clean with adhesive remover over where it's leaking and give it a bit of a mark out there just so you know that when you're refitting on the other side where the water was coming in egress so that you can prevent it from happening in the future oh look at that little riv riv cert oh cool giving it a well overdue wash in the boot. So, bottle of degreaser, pressure gun, and she's like a new car. If I can see any of the rust damage, all the dust is obviously out of every nook and cranny because it's been pressure washed out. I'll let it dry off in the hot tire sun. So here's what they look like inside. You can see all the schmutz that's come off, all the film, whatever it happens to be and the sealer which we got off with a heat gun and then started sanding so we did uh, 2000 or 1000, 1500 and then 2000 same with the corner lights then we got some 2k clear use them on tail lights not headlights quick dust coat so that it gets sticky and then a thick coat and they came out like glass I was actually really really happy with how they looked and the finished product, magnificent. Even got the piano black surrounds looking glossy. Uh, for the corners, I got and them all cleaned up. Lenses, thank you very to much the to the wife who, who sanded them all back for me, which was sanding really, really helpful. Now it's time to glue them back together and get what I've done. Else tidied up. I've run I also, on the front corners, beam. gave it a spray with some of, of the liquid uh, chrome RTV, in a can. White, uh, not the best stuff, but hey, it's definitely going to make it more reflective than what it looked originally. And the final job White, is to get all the wiring connectors done. Times so better. with these ones, so I did pop a crimp connectors a and also heat shrunk them, so they should last. The Let's have a look bolts. at the race lights. Bam. You can see their brake lights flash, but they're not too bright because they've got night shades on them from the previous video if you haven't seen it. And then the indicators are super bright. So definitely going to be seen on the racetrack. If I do break down, I can hit the hazards and hopefully nobody hits me up the tukus when I'm on the side of the road. Great.